I'd like to go over a little exercise determining GPS waypoints when one's underway. Maybe you're at camp and you want to load some GPS waypoints into your GPS or you want to mark them on your chart, whatever. My source for charts is the following. You can pause the video and copy or you can just Google Atlantic Coast booklet charts and that will ring you right into the source. This happens to be chart number 13303. It's an area off uh, South Thomas and Maine in the Muscle Ridge Island archipelago. You can see that I've drawn in my magnetic north lines to account for the variation in this area. It turns out to be about 17 and a half degrees. Basically what I do is start at an intersection here with a protractor mark 17 and a half degrees, draw my first line and all other lines parallel to it. And I try to make them a nautical mile apart for convenience of determining or estimating distances. So in this particular chart and other booklet charts, uh, these little tick marks at the top of the screen, I'm not sure you can see them, but uh, they represent minutes of longitude. This is, I've determined from other portions of this booklet chart that this is 69 degrees west, five minutes. And here's another minute. So as we go from right to left, this increases more westerly. So this is six minutes, seven minutes, eight minutes, and so on. So what I'd like to do is just have a little index card or a little guide where I will mark off these little ticks in one minute intervals and I will label them so that I don't mix them up. This is longitude minutes. I'll do the same over here for latitude. This chart tells me this is 44 degrees right through the middle and on the side we have other tick marks here you can see. So I'll use this edge of the index card for my tick marks and starting here and just mark them off. One, two, three. And remember, one minute of latitude equals a nautical mile. And just to reinforce that, I'll take my dividers, span between the tick marks, and I'll go down to the chart where conveniently we have a scale and sure enough one nautical mile is equal to a minute of latitude. And at this latitude of course the longitude minutes will be a sh shorter interval by about let's see here's I've got a minute of longitude and it's probably three-fourths the distance. All right, so let's uh, take an example. Uh, let's say we want to try to find an island, but for just for demonstration purposes, we'll use a, a pinpoint source. And in this case, it's going to be red can number 2CL, that is in a westerly direction from Crow Island ledges. So how do we determine the waypoint for that? Well. Let's start with the basics. Let me first label this so we can not mix this up. Latitude minutes. We know that this is 69 degrees, 5 minutes. Longitude, 44 degrees here. So 69 degrees. And this point is more westerly, so it's 69 degrees. How many minutes is that going to be? Well, let's use our scale here. What we want to do is put it uh, parallel to the line of longitude here. And what I'm going to do is just mark off our point of interest. That's this one here. And knowing that as we go right to left, this is 69.5. 
this is 69.6, this is 69.7, etc. So we know that's going to be 69 degrees, 6 minutes, and what percent roughly? Now, can we estimate that distance? Well, it's uh, more than a tenth, but not quite a fifth. Um, I'm going to say, let's split the difference. Let's call it 0 0.150, so between 1 and 2. So let's guess at 150 west. That's our estimation for that. Again, a little bit crude, but not, not too bad. Now let's look at the latitude. And we'll go to our scale, latitude minutes. We'll place that, here's my zero line. We'll line that up parallel to this. We're at right angles. We'll find our red nun and we'll mark it, not to be confused with the other marks. All right, so we're, we're at 44 degrees. As we're going in a more southerly direction, we're going to be subtracting. So this is 44, 0. This would be 59. This would be 58. And this would be 57. So we know that we're, what we're looking for is to estimate this distance here. And just eyeballing it, it's less than half, might be 0.4. But don't forget, with latitude minutes, we can use our scale at the bottom of the chart and figure out a better estimate. So there's our span, and we can go down to our scale, and that looks like it's 0.38 or 9. That's pretty close. So let's call it 0.38. So we're at 43 degrees, 57 minutes, 57. And what did I say? 0.38. Let's just say 380 north. And now, how close are we? Well, for that, um, Let's go to a website that will give us that information directly off the chart. I like to use a website that is called marine.geogarage.com. Here's the home page. And up in the corner here, we can click on charts and routes and that will give you uh, an, a low power view and you can hone in on where the area of interest. In this case I've already uh, looked at this and I'm going to just forward to the next page where I've located the area in question. And here's Crow Island ledges here and here's the nun in question, red nun 2CL. So I'm going to put my cursor, actually look over here, you'll see that the waypoints change as the cursor moves. It's very handy. So I'm going to bring it over here. I'm going to push the cursor right over the nun. And what I'm going to read off, what did we come up with? We had 4357.380. Well, 0.379 and 380, you're going to bump into this thing. We also had 6906.150, and we have 69 degrees 6 minutes, 0 0.070. So we're off 0 0.080. 
in the westerly direction. So the northerly direction, we ex as we expected, we'd be more accurate because we had the scale. Now, 0 0.070. Let's, what, what difference is that in feet? Let's look at that. Let's look at 5280 feet in a statute mile times 1.15 equals how many feet? What happened? Clear this. I'm sorry. 5280 times 1.15. That's how many feet? 6,072. And we were off by, what did we say? 0.08 times 0 0.08 equals 500 feet in the westerly direction. Well, you might miss this in the fog if you're looking for a can or a nun, but if you're headed for an island, you're, you're spot on. So uh, there you have it, a um, little rough estimation on how to determine GPS waypoints using a simple guide, um, some web pages, and again, uh, before you leave for your trip, you should mark these off and uh, label them on your chart or load them into your GPS. But if you haven't done that, you can quite easily estimate to a very reasonable extent uh, an accurate way to find your way out of trouble if you need to. Ta-ta for now.